Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a yoga for digestion and for detoxification of your belly. Uh, twists are a wonderful way to detox and bring out any toxins in the body to help supporting in digestion or any uh, constipation or pain that you might be having as well as cramps from your period or anything like that. They're also just overall a really great way to detox your body and to support healthy digestion. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up, you guys. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's get started on today's practice. So we're gonna to start today lying down into a reclined position. So getting yourself comfortable, laying down onto the mat, letting the legs fall away. If there's any low back pain, keep the knees bent, knocking those knees together, walking the soles of the feet out to the outer edges of the mat. Your choice. So resting down, palms face towards the sky, closing the eyes. And just tuning into yourself. Noticing where your mind is. How your body is feeling. Just starting to tune into yourself here on the mat. Deepening into our breath. Becoming aware. Starting to find inhales. And exhales, letting the breath flow, allowing it to just move naturally. Finding some deepening into the inhales and the exhales. Starting to wiggle those toes and those fingers. We're gonna bend up through the knees, placing the soles of the feet onto the mat. Just hug those knees in towards your chest. Give them a nice big hug, rocking on the low back, right to left. Letting go of any tension, any tightness. Release the soles of the feet onto the mat. We're gonna lift up the hips, shimming them over towards the right. Lift up those knees, draw them towards your chest. We're gonna open up the arms into a T. You can face palms down onto the mat or facing towards the sky. And exhale, drop those knees over towards the left, coming into our spinal twist here. You an option to keep the gaze towards the sky. Or you can start to gaze over that right shoulder, getting a little bit more openness into the pec, in through the chest. Finding that nice opening into our twist, into our side body here. And exhale, start to bring those knees back up, shimming them back to the center. And lift them over towards the left, draw those knees in towards the chest and allow the legs to fall towards the right side of the mat. Option to keep the gaze towards the sky or you can rock it over that left pec gazing towards those front fingertips. Really finding little sips of air here, twisting from our belly, then our ribs, and then our chest. Nice openness. Thinking about keeping those shoulders onto the mat, so dressing your hips as you need. If the shoulders aren't touching, that's okay. Just thinking about that intention. And exhale, bring those knees back up. Walk the hips back to center. Hug those knees in towards the chest again. Rock out that low back right to left, releasing everything. And from here, we'll roll over onto our side, rolling over into a field position, taking that 
bottom arm underneath the head is a little pillow just for a breath. And exhale, start to press yourself up into a comfortable, com comfortable seat. <laughs> Coming into a cross-legged position here. We're gonna inhale nice and tall through the crown of the head, growing the spine tall. And exhale as we twist over, bringing the left hand onto the right knee, twisting our heart open towards the right side, walking that back hand behind our bum. Let's inhale, twist from belly first, then ribs, and then the chest. So really finding that expansion, growing up from the base all the way to the crown of the head. Release, come back to center. And crossing over, right hand onto left knee, walk that back hand behind you. And again, inhale nice and tall, twist belly, ribs, and then the chest. Opening up, releasing. And exhale, come back to center. Kick out those legs in front of you, release them out. And we're gonna come into our boat posture. Here, so bringing the soles of the feet onto the mat, keeping the knees bent here, holding onto the back side of our thighs. And inhale, lifting that chest up towards the thigh. So almost like you're trying to zip up a wetsuit and trying to draw everything into the midline. So, and up. So really cinching that chest and that heart. Almost like you're trying to press your boobies towards those legs. Really finding that strength into the core here. We're going to start to tip back on our bum. So you need to tippy toe onto the toes. So either just tiptoeing, you can keep the feet even flat here if you're low back or you have any injuries. So tiptoeing the toes here, just starting to play, balancing on the sit bones, but we're keeping our chest nice and lifted. Perhaps lifting one leg and then the other. And just playing wherever you are. If you know that you can come into a full boat posture, so bringing both legs up, or maybe he's keeping them bent, wherever you are. Option to keep holding onto the thighs or you can bring the arms out at your sides, keeping that chest lifted nice and strong through the back body. One more breath, exhale, release those feet back down. Hug yourself forward, hugging those knees. Releasing. Coming back to our boat posture. So soles of the feet can stay on the mat here. And we're gonna bring the right hand onto the outside edge of our left thigh, spinning that left hand open and just reaching, coming into a twist here into our boat posture. So you can hold on to the, the leg wherever is feasible. Option to start to walk your hand down that calf, holding onto the outer edge of the foot, kicking into that foot and twisting even deeper. So just an option, or you can stay with the feet on the mat here. Finding that strength into the belly. And the exhale, come back to center. Coming through the other side. So inhaling, holding on to the outer edge of the knee or the calf. Sweeping open that right arm, reaching back, twisting belly, ribs, chest. And again, you can option to grab that foot, reach and twist open. Or just keeping the foot onto the mat. One more breath. And exhale, release back to center. Hug those knees, give them a big hug in. Awesome. Coming onto all fours here, coming into our tabletop. Finding a few rounds of cat cow here. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. Exhale, rounding back through, pressing high towards the sky. Inhale, belly fall. Exhale, press that spine high. 
Inhale. And exhale. Coming back to a neutral position. We're going to step that left foot to a low lunge position. So coming into our low lunge variation. Palms on either side of the feet here. We're going to place that right hand on the inside of our left foot. Bringing our left hand onto our heart and inhales, twisting and spinning our heart open here. So you can option to reach up towards the sky or you can just keep the hand on the hip or the heart. So just again, thinking about that spinning belly, rib, chest. So finding that rotation, opening up. And exhale, release that top hand back down. Walking that foot back a little more centered. If you had it walked over, we're gonna curl under the back toes, pressing through the back foot, coming into our high lunge variation. Inhale, sweep the arms high towards the sky, reaching up. Exhale, the hands to your heart center. And from here, we're gonna twist over towards that front leg again. So bringing the right elbow onto the leg, coming in through a high lunge twist variation. If it feels like too much, you can stay down into your low lunge twist. So just working here if it feels like a lot. Taking one more breath. Let's exhale, bring the hands back to heart center, reach the hands up, low lunge, or high lunge, I guess. <laughs> exhale, release the hands, stepping that back foot back, coming into your downward facing dog, walk out that leg, Whew. let it go. Releasing, shake out the head, walk the dog as you need. And let's release back down to our tabletop, coming through the other side. So stepping that right foot between the hands, coming into our low lunge here. Left hand is on the inside of that right foot, spinning our heart open towards, so you're twisting in towards that front thigh. So again, keeping the hand here on the heart, or you can option to reach open, gazing up towards that top hand if it feels okay on the neck. Really strong into our twist here. Exhale, release, frame that front foot, curl back the back toes, coming into our high lunge variation. Inhale, sweep the arms up high towards the sky. Exhale through your heart center, twisting open towards that front leg, coming into our twist. So again, if you need to drop that back knee for support, pressing into the hands, pressing the heart open, twisting belly, ribs, chest. One more breath. Exhale, release the hands to heart center, reaching up, high lunge. Exhale, release the hands, frame the front foot, step back into your downward facing dog. Release those legs, walk that dog. Two big breaths here. Letting everything go. Let's take two steps to the top of the mat, coming into our forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep those hands high towards the sky, reaching up. Exhale, the hands through heart center, sitting our bum back into our chair posture. Pressing through the hands, sitting that bum back, making sure you, making sure you can see your big toes. Hearts lifted, belly engaged. Can you sit a little lower? We're gonna release and twist over towards the left, bringing the elbow onto the knee. Twisting our heart open. Noticing here if your left knee is jutting out, can you draw it back? One more breath. Exhale, come back to center, reach the arms up, sitting into our chair posture. Strong into the legs. Exhale through heart center. Let's twist over towards the left, bringing that elbow across the knee, pressing into the hands. Breathing strong, strong into your chair. 
Check that knee, is it tracking forward? Exhale, come back to center, reach those hands up, sitting back into the chair. Exhale, release those hands forward, fold. Release those hips, those glutes, shake everything out, swing back and forth. Release, let that go. Place the palms down, let's step back into our downward dog. Letting everything go, taking three big breaths here. If you can't hold down dog, opting to come down to child's pose. Whatever will allow you to catch your breath. Taking three big breaths. Last breath from your down dog. We're gonna hop our feet forward or walk your feet forward. Coming between the hands and sitting your bum down towards the mat, coming down into a seated position. Releasing the legs out in front. Keeping our left leg long. Bending up through the right, crossing over here. So we're flexing through the bottom toes, drawing that right knee up. A nice big inhale, reaching that right arm high towards the sky. Exhale as you twist open, reaching towards the back side of the mat here. So you can option to keep that front, hook, front, front elbow hooked onto the front leg. And from here, we're gonna inhale, twist belly, ribs, and then the chest, gazing over to the side. Option to gaze over that front pec, maybe over the shoulder, perhaps closing the eyes here, resting, relaxing, bringing out tension and tightness in the body, giving those internal organs a nice massage here. Starting to unravel yourself, come back to center. Release that leg, shake it out. And we'll come through the other side, bending up through the left, keeping the right leg nice and long, crossing over. Inhale, reach that left arm high towards the sky. Exhale, twist open. Hooking that front arm around the front leg. Inhale, belly, ribs, chest. Letting everything go. Gazing to the side wall. Maybe gazing over the front shoulder. Taking a big breath in. And exhale, let go of tension, let go of tightness. What is no longer serving you? On your next exhale, starting to unravel yourself back to the front, release that front leg, shake it all out. Coming down onto your mat, so releasing your body all the way down into your resting posture, into your final Shavasana. Letting everything go, palms face towards the sky, legs fall open or you can bend them if your low back is sore. Relaxing down onto the mat. Letting everything go. Allowing your breath to come back to its natural rhythm. Letting go of any tension still remaining in the body, any tightness. Allowing a wave-like energy to wash over you. 
allowing you to just soften into the mat, falling away, letting tension go from the jaw, letting the lips part, releasing tension through the forehead, through the eyebrows. Becoming one with your mat, melting into the floor below you. Starting to find some wiggles and movement into the body. Gently rolling onto whichever side feels good for you into a fetal position and pressing yourself up to a seated position whenever you're ready. There's no rush. Bringing the hands to heart center, pressing the thumb gently into the breastbone, bowing your head forward and appreciating yourself for working so hard into detoxing and supporting your digestion and your internal organs today. From my heart to yours, namaste. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Be sure to like this video, you guys, if you enjoyed it, and subscribe down below to the Sharway crew. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next yoga video. Bye, guys.